want to win, pick a VIN, <laughs> ready to go, look at Costco, ready to buy, choose the right guy. So do I rhyme all the time? <laughs> okay, it's goofy, but these are our mantras for how to save money on our next vehicle purchase. And I'm going to walk you through why all of those and a few more are going to be really helpful in guiding you to maximize your savings and have the best purchasing experience possible when you are in the market for a new vehicle. If you want to win, pick a VIN. So this is one of those things that will will really make it easier to, to price shop comparison from dealership to dealership because it's one thing to be, I want your best price on a RX 350 premium. And then it's another thing to be, I want your best price on Blank, 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 VIN number, da, 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 stock number, da, 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 da. So you can find a comparable equipped and have a true apples to apples comparison. Because even within an RX 350 premium, there's a couple thousand dollars of swing. So you'll never actually have an accurate picture as to whether or not I'm quoting you on like the most basic of basic or if I've stripped down all the accessories or whatever those are, just so a framework because, you know, we want to get you in the door. We want to do business. We want to be the ones to earn your business. And if you are being very mercenary about price, which let's table the whole best price conversation for right now, but it's a conversation that we'll definitely be having here about just we'll table it. (laughs) But ultimately you want to have an apples to apples comparison if you're using price as the sole determining factor as to why you'd like to move forward with somebody. And don't misconstrue. I understand getting the best value for your dollar is really important, but understanding, all right, I am truly comparing an apple to an apple as opposed to apples to oranges. So if you want to win, my tip is pick a VIN. Ready to go? Look at Costco. (laughs) Sorry, so stupid. (laughs) Uh, Forgive me. But anyway, so the point of this little ditty mantra is there are some really good buying programs out there that I don't think the consumer generally appreciates just how aggressive the pricing structure is on some of them. So like True Car, Costco, a lot of them, they have already set a very aggressive price structure and base, and that really is as good as it gets. So the, the, the things that you're clicking around on, they are credible. They are very compelling. They are very refreshingly easy and simplified if you allow them to be. So Uh, You have to believe the data that they're providing you for it to be a simplified process. But I will tell you as a person on the other side of it with a lot of insight into it, that these are very compelling, well-priced, aggressive, very much in market programs that are worth exploring if you want that reassurance. The only caveat on those is that they aren't gospel. So all of these pricing programs are at the discretion of the dealership. And so... I I encourage you to kind of manage expectations a little bit in the sense of if there's only one of the vehicle that you're looking at within a, you know, 3000 mile radius, don't be surprised if it doesn't qualify for the buying programs because of limitations on inventory. And so use them to inform your shopping, but understand that there are reasons as to why they might not be fulfilling those figures on your behalf. So it's just kind of a, an additional data point to inform your shopping, but uh, they're, they're, they're legit. They really are. So those buying programs, uh, check them out. Unfortunately, no rhyme on this next one, but I do think it's an incredibly valid point is if you help us identify the mutual win in this transaction, it's going to absolutely get you a more aggressive price. And so What I'm referring to is when you provide all of your contact information, including your address, you want to give us as complete of a customer file as possible. Because one of the things I'll ask people if if it's not provided, and it's kind of, why do you need that? Uh, I'll ask for your zip code. And the reason that I'm asking for that is if you're within our service area, if you have the potential to be an ongoing repeat business customer, and this isn't obligating you to utilize our our service department, for example, and it isn't obligating you uh, to to send referrals and repeats, but it, it is a compelling reason and a mutual win in doing business with you. Because I don't 
care about selling a car to somebody who's 500 miles away at rock bottom prices. That's not my inclination. I want to sell them to somebody who's five miles away, who all of their neighbors are drooling over their brand new purchase. And they're able to say, go see Katie over right there, as opposed to, you know, th- this, this one and done kind of transaction where we're never going to see your happy smiling face again. And so if you provide that information or if you facilitate that conversation and say, you know, here here are the other ways that it makes sense for you to entice me to be a part of that relationship and here's a mutual win-win, we're, we're way more compelled to take care of our own and take care of the people within our service area from the, the, the monetary perspective because we want that repeat business. We want to build that relationship. We want our friends and our neighbors to be your friends and your neighbors. So if you can help identify that mutual win, it really does maximize. Back to these brilliant, insightful rhymes and mantras for you. We're going to go with, if you're here to buy, no need to lie. And this this is going to sound kind of quirky, but, you know, people have become so cynical of the dealership experience and it breaks my heart because I am I'm here to help. Like, truly, it's what I'm here for. But that 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 they they're encouraged by notions to you know play this cloak and dagger kind of game, and so they'll they'll do things like you know magically forget to bring up the trade until everything's been fleshed out, or you, you know like bounce off it's just all kinds of quirky stuff that's really a product of bad advice on the internet that I speak to elsewhere, and don't do that. Just say, hey, have the VIN pulled around. Hey, I'm ready to go. Like, give us everything that we need and the tools to help facilitate this for you and be straight. Like, I'm ready to buy a car. There's no there's no shame in it. And there's nothing wrong with that. And it it, it saves you not just money because you've already done the homework. You've already done the shopping on that front. Right. Because we walked you through that. But it saves you the most valuable thing of all. And that is your time, your time, your time, your time. Your time is important to you. My time is important to me. Our time is important to us. So allow us the opportunity to protect your time and facilitate an awesome experience. And with that whole part of the process in mind, with all of these other moving pieces, is if you're ready to buy, you got to find the right guy or gal, obviously. So I don't be mercenary about this is as truly I tell people in my personal life this all the time is sometimes it's not just about dollars and cents and the incremental swing of a couple hundred bucks versus experience a and experience b sometimes paying a slight premium to do business with somebody that you want to do business with and that has facilitated something awesome on the front end of it it makes sense. Spend a little bit of extra. Know that you're the person that, you know, who's been responsive and who's been reliable. And bare minimum, just give them a crack at earning your business. Like say, hey, if you can hit it, we, we would want to come do business. And if they say no, it is what it is. It's not really their determination, their decision. And then it becomes your decision again of like, is it worth having a little bit of a premium for better service? And I, you know, I'm, I like to go out to eat a lot. I like, you know, I'm a big tipper. I like taking care of folks in that regard. So I, I, I know a lot of people, it doesn't phase them on that front. Like it's not a big deal either direction. And if it is to you, that's fine as well. But hopefully this is a long-term relationship of somebody who is going to take good care of you, who's going to be responsive, who has a, you know, built a good enough dynamic and rapport and relationship with you that you you you, you don't mind a little reciprocity because you know, for as long as I've ever done, I've been doing this, the biggest incremental swing I've seen between dealership A and dealership B is about $400. That's not in the scheme of a, you know, a tens of thousands of dollar purchase. That's it's just not a lot of money. So we're all ultimately going to be in a very comparable place uh, in terms of price point because we all pay the same amount for our car. And if if somebody, I don't know, it's, it's, it's your money. I don't want to tell you how to spend it. But I, I would encourage you to just kind of um, keep that part in perspective. Don't don't go all the way down to, you know, nickels and pennies in the scheme of things. If you want to continue to have a really nice ownership experience and not just a purchasing experience in terms of having a responsive, helpful person, continue to be helpful and responsive. I, of course, have a little bit of a bias on that front, but I've been on both sides of the table and I, I, I feel strongly on that. I think that, you know, the people who take good care of us from a service perspective, you know, we, we, we want to honor that with our business. 
But I'm also, again, a little kooky on that side of it. So I hope you take these things in consideration. I hope they help in your shopping. And, you know, let me know in the comments if there's something more I can teach you or share with you about the other side of the business. Because I'm Katie Stock, also known as Carlady Katie of CarladyKatie.com. And I have one mission, which is to simplify the car buying process for all.